Consider the following equilibrium between the two oxides of sulfur, sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide. Uh, this importantly it's a negative there so always just write in straight away that there's energy coming out here. Uh, so I'll put heat there, that'll help you with your balancing. So quick analysis, there are three moles of gas here going to two. Uh, so now we've got to work out uh, which direction is the position of equilibrium will shift for the following changes. So let's go to the first one. If we increase the temperature, we're increasing this side here. Uh, if we're increasing this side, it's going to balance and go over here. So the shift will be to the left. Uh, and the reason will be because it's an exothermic reaction. Next is the pressure. If you increase the pressure, it's going to push to the side that has the least number of gaseous molecules. So that one's going to go to the right. And the reason being there are less moles of gas in the products. Next, adding a catalyst to the mixture that's going to have no change at all uh, and the reason being is the uh, forward and reversed reactions uh, are going on at the same rate both increase alright so it's dynamic equilibrium sketch the potential energy profile for the forward reaction in part 5 to show the effect of the catalyst on the activation energy so there's potential energy and progress of reaction it's exothermic so you are getting more heat released and more stable products so there's high energy reactants and then you have your activation energy and it releases energy here now this is quite a difficult one because there's a lot to do in this so uh, you need to mention that this is the reactants and these are the products all right uh, sketch potential energy showing the effect of the catalyst on the activation energy so you need to know uh, the activation energy so i need to write that in there Okay, and then when you add a catalyst, the f you're just making the reaction go faster, so the forward and reverse reactions are going to improve. And so what you can just do is put just a line in here, going down like that, and that there, putting EA with the catalyst. Now you would think you'd get one point for that, one point for that, uh, which is wrong. You get one point just for that. And believe it or not, you get one point for that. So that looks like it's going to be a common mistake for many students. They'll forget to do that.